Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So my awesome husband um, got me some fun new pouring supplies for Christmas, including this really cute little sink strainer thing. So I thought I would try this one out today. It doesn't sit flat, so I'm gonna kind of hold it as I pour. And I'm doing this as a leftover paint pour. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more paint to this cup. This is looks like mostly green, and there shouldn't be any silicone in this cup. So here's to hoping that that is accurate. Let's add a little blue. I'm going to add some black and gold, just using some colors I already have mixed up. Hopefully that's not too much black. <laughs> and some gold. Okay. So this is kind of a, just a trial for this new sink strainer. I'm pretty excited. It seems like it's going to be pretty awesome. And I also had the thought, let me know if you guys want to see a video on this, but I think it might actually work pretty well to do this upside down as well. And we'll get a pretty pattern the fact that it's a flower. So that was my thought anyways. Ah, it's hard to hold this steady. So it already looks super cool. And I'd say, I'm not sure what was in the bottom of the cup exactly, but otherwise mostly I think black, green, and gold. So actually really cool color combo. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda try to maintain the pattern. I'm just gonna go towards my corners. Usually I would use um, like a square canvas for this, for a pattern like this, but I'm running a little low on canvases. So here we go. So far, pretty exciting. And I actually think now that I'm like looking at the pattern that this particular one made, it would be fun to have um, like a, a wet canvas. So maybe a solid color, probably not white, unless you wanted white, but take just a solid colored canvas and using only some paint not enough to cover the canvas with just a little bit, do that design and then see if you could just leave it so the painting would have some negative space. That might be pretty cool. But in other news, this is awesome. And I now have a perfect color combo to try for the future. So this is, uh, there was turquoise in the bottom of the cup. There was also some pink, which isn't coming through at all, it doesn't seem. But, um, like I said, primarily green, gold, and black. Look at this awesome color combo. Okay, let's let this sit here. We're going to uh, see what develops, and then we'll come back and do our close-up. Okay, we're back. I really, really love how this came out, and I'm just super thrilled with this color combination. So let's do our close up. So lower right hand corner, just look how awesome these colors are together. Over to the upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner, and down to the lower left hand corner. Now I did not think there was silicone in that cup, but by the way these cells are developing, see how they're kind of pitted, you could say? Like they kind of go down. Um, it does appear that there probably was silicone in that cup. So anyways, 
thank you guys so much for watching. I love this new little strainer my husband got me. And let me know if you guys would like to see me do it in reverse because I think that would actually look super, super, super cool. And I will definitely be doing more with this color combination. All right, y'all. See you later.